Hi, this is ProMet Video Tutorials, and in this video we're going to go over how to import context. Now let's say you have a whole bunch of data in your either Excel sheet or MS Access sheet and you want to put it into your database. I have already created a just a few test um, contacts with the first name, middle, last, phone number, email, you know, all that stuff. So after you have all of your um, data, either in an Excel sheet or something, you want to, when you save the file, make sure it's in a CSV, comma separated uh, file, comma separated values file. The reason for CSV file is because when you're importing the contact, that's the source that they use is the CSV file. So make sure to save in a CSV file. And then to get to the import context, section, go to context, import context, and you'll be brought to this page where you can start you know, filling these fields out. So it's a CSV file, we're going to choose your file, mine's right there, um, and you want to check this box, first row contains column headers, if it does, for instance, Right here, first row contains column headers such as first name, middle. It says what it is, so you're going to check that box. But if this wasn't here and you just had their names right away, then you don't have to check that box. Import option, um, individuals, that's good. For duplicate, we can just skip. Um, you can make, you can let the system check to update fill or no duplicate um, checking. Just We're just going to skip. Dedupe rule, um, if you want to select any so that it can check for duplicates and either get rid of them, merge them together, you know, all that stuff for deduping. We're just going to leave it blank. That's just going to, we're going to leave that alone as well and then choose the date format if there's, you know, any dates in your data. We'll select that and then click continue. On step two, match fields, the left the left hand column is the column name, prefix, first name, middle, you know, all that stuff that we had for our column header right there. And then it'll show you an example of what it'll look like in the second column right here, import data, Donald Test. You can see that right there, Donald Test, John Doe, John Doe, and then Right here, matching Civi CRM field is um, where you decide, you know, what the field should be. We'll keep that. See, all this is good. First name, middle, and last suffix, nickname. We don't really need, need to import that, but, you know, there should be something you can choose here. Phone, email, everything matches, street, state, postal, so very good. And this save this field mapping, you can check that if you want to save these fields. Say you're going to import more context later on with these, you know, with similar data, and you can just save this field mapping so that in the future you can just select this field mapping. You won't have to go through um, these steps again. Save if we don't want the prefix, we can just select do not import. And if you save this field mapping, it'll save those fields so it knows that when you select a certain field mapping, it remembers it so that you don't have to select anymore. But we're not going to save this. You can if you want to. Click Continue. Step 3, Preview, gives you a preview of what um, you're importing. Total rows, 3, valid, they're good to go. Um, the example again, and you can, this part right here is you can add it into a group, these new imports that you're about to add to the contacts, you can either import it to an existing group, or add it to a new group, or create a new tag, and or tag these groups. So we're going to add it to a new group, add imported records to a new group. We'll say test import group description. This is a test. So now these three records 
that I have, three contacts I have, they're going to be in this group called test import group because we're adding them to a new group. So once you're done, click import now. Are you sure? Click OK. It says import has completed successfully. And the summary, total import three. Now we can go check on those individuals, see them. We'll go search, find. We're just going to search through um, all. Donald Tess, so their last name was Tess. So we'll go to T. You can see right there, Donald Tess, we added him, example. And Jacob Tester was the other one, and then John Doe was the other one. That's the other one. So there you go, you can see your context right there. And there's the information about them. You can always, this is how you can go back in, you know, and edit if you want to add more stuff. And remember when we put them in a new group when we added these contacts. So this is one of the test contacts groups. You can see right there, test import group. So they are part of that group. And that's the basics of importing your data. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is ProMet Source Video Tutorials.